Welcome to the behind the scenes with your 2020-2021 Overwatch Division 2 champion from AGSB, none other than I Like Doritos. Congratulations, man. How do you feel? Uh, over the moon, really. Like, I kind, of, kind of like I said before, like, we, like we've like we all put in so much work over this, like, past, like, seven-month period or so. And, like, just, just for it all to, like, finally pay off. And it's just everyone, like, everyone just really gave it their all. And, like, as, like, the caps of the team, like, I can't ask for more of any of them because everyone just came in and just really left it out there on stage. So like, that was just fantastic from, like, a captain's point of view. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone else feels the same, too. Definitely. I wanted to ask you maybe a couple of questions uh, to an hour, maybe an hour and a half ago. How did it feel, you know, to open the grand finals uh, with a slight delay? How did that feel for you guys and the pressure you feel obviously performing on stage? I don't know it, it, it was built. It was building up and building up. But once you manage to like get get there, sit down, and we just like we said before, just play it like it's at home. Like, and that's what we kind of did. Like the, the delay kind of helped us in our opinion because it kind of made us feel more at home and just like calm each other down. Like, and then we just made we just made it feel like any other game. And I think the screaming and shouting on the stage would probably reflect that if you heard that on the broadcast. But yeah, like that's all it really did. We had to just try and calm ourselves. So I think it helped us quite a bit. And speaking of all the emotion going on on stage, I want to take it back to map two on Hollywood, which was so, so close in the end. You guys managed to clutch it out. How did you feel to actually, you know, did you feel relief? Did you feel pressure during that second game and after you won it? I think it, it was a mix of both, really, because I think at, at that point we all knew how we knew how important like that last fight was, and everyone was just even though it was Hector's like scene, we were all just so focused and tunnel visioned at the end. And I think as, as soon as we just saw the overtime bar drain down, everyone I think just like rolled away from their PCs and just like took a breath. But yeah, it was re relief. But I think the pressure made the pressure made everyone like perform much better. I think exactly pressure makes diamonds. And then uh, the end game to that uh, game three. The D.Va performance, securing the final point, and you became the champions. After all of these months, you literally cruised to the group stage, 3 0 everyone through the qualifiers and the playoffs. And now, I just want to ask you, other than the grand final, obviously, what was your favorite game this season? I don't know. I think... I, I think for me personally, especially because of this finals too, our semi-finals against Fairham because I know like today, like we weren't able to make subs for time issues, but we were able to play with Hyper or Hyper that day too. I think he played fantastic then on stream as well. It's it's a real shame that he couldn't play in finals, but I think just the adrenaline because it was our first stream and it was a really close game. I think that that was probably like my personal favorite aside from the finals, definitely. Just like the stream environment and like we managed to have our full team on at all times. So it was, we really enjoyed that. Uh, you mentioned the captain of the team uh, and obviously one of the support players and I wanted to ask how does it feel to play as a support in such a uh, tense environment with uh, people in the audience watching you, thousands of homes supporting you and again uh, cheering for your team. How does it feel from the support perspective when you're not the damage dealer and more the healer? Yeah, so it's more, it's more, I think it, come, it came down to at the end of the day, like I just had so much trust in my team. Like I knew that like, it, it, I knew that if I put my resource into my teammates, I knew that they'd win. Like, I know that, that may sound a bit sort of like overconfident, but I, I knew I knew that we had Papa Binks on DPS who were just killing everything. Sad life was peeling on Diva. I just knew that whatever I would do, my teammates would do the best with that. So I always felt quite confident from that like perspective. And the best they did. And uh, you mentioned seven month journey to get to this point. Uh, how much did you practice? Did you prepare? Did you change your uh, preparation maybe for the grand finals in the last month and a half? Well, as we've been scrimming since I'd say about early, I'd say early January is when we started to form the team, and then we solidified our roster mid January, and then we've practiced like minimum four times a week, and then up to grand finals, we just knew everyone, everyone kind of knew like the semi finals were really fun, but the grand finals like this mattered, you know, like we don't want this work to go to nothing. So like basically every day we were just like vod reviewing, going through maps, watching every watch league to learn. Like I think at that point for the last three weeks, everyone's minds were just on this, and we knew that everyone was focused. And I think that's why we managed to achieve like the best result. And in this case, it was a win. Absolutely. Undefeated, not dropping a single map. Yeah. It must feel really good. And I must ask, what is next for AGSB and what is next for I Like Doritos? <sighs> oh, good question, that one. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think... I've, I've played Overwatch for over five years now, so I think as I, as fun as it is and I love playing Overwatch, I kind of want a new challenge like, at this point. Like, maybe go on to another game, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see next team. We might have, because like, I know our, a couple of our team is leaving because they're going to uni now. So we could see if we can, like, sort of nurture some academy players through, like, some new younger players. 
or well, what, whatever happens for me, I want to stay involved because like our schools, like esports, like structure is like fantastic, and like everyone behind the scenes, like our GM and our teacher, Mr. Cummins, who helps, like it's such a fantastic structure. And I just want to stay really involved in it because it's just like a fantastic place to be. So. Absolutely amazing words and obviously you know you conquered the challenge and now you're on to your next venture and that sounds absolutely amazing. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to speak with me today and obviously one more time everyone at home give it up for your 2020, 2021 Overwatch Grand Champions. Feels good to hear that. <laughs>